I've been to people's homes where relocating their thermostat would provide them better comfort. A thermostat located in a second floor hallway might cause such extreme temperature differences in the bedrooms upstairs that one room is hotter than another room. In single story homes, that thermostat could be located on the other side of the house or stashed away behind a door, bookcase, or somewhere in the house, creating uneven temperatures in the home. So here's three reasons why your thermostat might be in the wrong spot. If air from a supply register is pointed right at it, if it's located on exterior wall, and if it's located near a kitchen, garage, windows, or doors. Number one, is your thermostat located in the direct path of the supply register in that room? If so, that could be a tricking the thermostat into thinking that the house is comfortable when it really isn't. Two, other times a thermostat might be located on the inside of an exterior wall of the house. This could allow the summer heat or the wintry cold air from the outside radiate through the wall, confuse the thermostat into thinking that it's met the right temperature that you want it to be, but you know for a fact it's not. Number three, other places that you probably don't want to have a thermostat is near the kitchen, the garage door, or near windows. Temperatures in these areas of the home might be a little different from the other parts of the home that you're trying to keep at a certain level. So what are some of the best places to move your thermostat? If you live in a single story home, the majority of the time you'll find that the best place to mount your thermostat is in the main hallway located about halfway between the bedrooms and the living room. You'll probably notice the return air intake is located in that hallway too. The thermostat and the return air grill being found there is done that way on purpose. Conditioned air from the living areas and from the sleeping areas are brought together in the hallway and mixes. The temperature of the home's air in that precise area is a great place to be measured. In two-story homes that have two thermostats, one upstairs and one downstairs, you'll find that most families in my area of the country have the upstairs thermostat in the master bedroom. It's because the air temperature in the hallway upstairs can be different from the temperature of the air in the bedrooms, especially if the occupants close their bedroom doors at night to sleep. It's very likely that the most important room to control upstairs is the master bedroom. If the airflow in the other rooms up there is not sufficient, then a little bit of air balancing in the ductwork will solve that problem. Put an adjustable or manual damper in each duct upstairs so that you can dial in the airflow as you see fit. Other people will simply close off the registers in each room, but that can lead to annoying whizzing sounds coming from the grill. A more serious side effect to closing off the registers is the static pressure of the system. It's like the blood pressure of the system. Raise that blood pressure and it's going to damage the system eventually. Check out my video called That's Not How Zoning Works to get a more thorough explanation of this. You might think that buying a smart thermostats like the Nest, Ecobee, and the Honeywell will solve your problem. The only real feature of these thermostats is their learning capability. They can figure out how long it takes your home to get to a certain temperature that you desire. But if your thermostat is the wrong place, even those more expensive thermostats won't read the house's temperature correctly. There are other thermostats that include an extra sensor that you can put in another room, but this doesn't really create air balance in your house. It just makes the temperature in that particular room be the temperature that you want it. Not saying that smart thermostats aren't great, because they are. I have one in my office and two at my home. But relocating your thermostat to the right spot in the house can save you money and make everyone experience the same temperatures no matter where they are in the house. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.